Hello dear students, our today's topic is synthesis of neostigmine bromide. This compound belongs to the therapeutic category of cholinergic agonist that means this drug mimic the action of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Now look at the structure of neostigmine bromide. Here is the presence of this carbamoyl group where the nitrogen attached with two methyl groups and this nitrogen is the quaternary nitrogen acquiring the positive charge having the ionic bond with bromide ion that's why the name is given neostigmine bromide now look at the IUPC name of this compound for the nomenclature we will select this salt form where the nitrogen having the positive charge and the bromide ion is in ionic bond with the nitrogen clearly the nitrogen having the positive charge and it attached on this benzene ring that's why we will call it anilinium and it has the bond with bromide ion so we will call the basic nucleus as anilinium bromide so you can find this in the nomenclature anilinium bromide on the nitrogen we have three methyl groups so we will call it n n n trimethyl anilinium bromide so that's why this carbon which is attached with nitrogen will be numbered one so it will be number two and it will be number three on number three we will have a substituent group this one this substituent group is called as n n dimethyl carbamoyl oxy this n along with co is called as carbamoyl so it is carbamoyl and it is oxy so that's why the IUPC name is this one 3 dimethyl carbamoyl oxy n n n trimethyl anilinium bromide this compound is very important one and it is used to improve the muscle tone in people with myasthenia gravis the myasthenia gravis is the condition where there is reduced concentration of acetylcholine and the muscle tone is gets highly decreased its another use is to reverse the effect of non depolarizing muscle relaxants which employed during the general surgical processes so after the surgery to reverse back the muscle tone the compound neostigmine is given next move on to the synthesis of this compound which is very simple one our starting material for the synthesis is this compound which is called as potassium this is potassium number one two and this will be three so on three we have a dimethyl amino group so trimethyl amino and the benzene is attached with negatively charged oxygen so it is called as benzene one olate you may call it phenolate also so benzenolate or phenolate both the names are the same for this, this structure so this starting material reacted with n and dimethyl carbamoyl chloride now it is a very famous and the well known reaction this oxide group attack on this carbonyl group to bring the nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction by removal of this potassium chloride molecule from here and thus this phenoxide group will get attached on this carbonyl compound so this gives us formation of this ester which is called as di n and dimethyl carbamate this derivative then undergoes reaction with methyl bromide as i mentioned in my previous videos also that 
the tertiary amines reacted with the alkyl halides and undergoes the quaternization in methyl bromide the methyl group acquires the positive character while bromine being electronegative acquire the negative character so for the sake of electrons this methyl group will attack on this nitrogen because the nitrogen have the lone pair of electron in other words you can say that the nitrogen bearing the electron pair act as the nucleophile and attack on this methyl group to substitute the bromide ion from here and thus there is formation of this compound where the nitrogen is gets quaternized by the addition of one methyl group over here though this is quaternized acquired the positive charge and now will be in conjunction with the bromide ion so with this we get formation of our title compound neostigmine bromide so dear students that is all about synthesis of neostigmine bromide thanks for watching the video please like share and subscribe thank you